Today we continue with another multi-axis function block and it's called MC phasing. Now for this part 19 tutorial I will partially speed up the process of declaring the variable, calling the instance, putting the visualization on. Let's get right to it. Now we need to prepare set position for a virtual axis and our real axis which is slave. I would like to have also from our phasing block input and output. So MC phasing execute and let's add MC phasing done. Yeah, okay. Convert to multi and we can log in. Run. Let's download our trace. Okay. MC phasing is quite similar to gear in POS, except it's using fixed ratio one to one. We do not set any position, but we put phase difference between the master and the slave. Okay, now let's prepare our blocks that we will use. MC stop on both. Then we will use move velocity on master axis. And then we will put 90 degrees phase shift. Let's put 54 velocity. 100 acceleration, deceleration, let's increase here velocity to 40. This phase shift is in fact phasing the master axis. So if you phase the master axis for 90 degrees, it will look like the slave is shifting for negative 90 degrees. Let's see how this looks like. So we have our trace running and again first string we enable the drives and execute set position. And now we will run master. Okay, master is running. And then in certain point of time, we will execute MC phasing. And we will see how it's following. So let's execute. Let's say now. Okay. And now you see that in fact, the slave is 90 degrees behind the master. Let's stop the trace and analyze. So what happened is cursor at a certain point we executed our function block and we see that master is somewhere 190 and now the slave starts to starts to work and then exactly at the point when it's done let me hold the cursor. At this point, he caught up with the master with exactly 90 degrees difference. And here is perfectly 90 degrees behind the slave. And now he continues. In gear in post, you could actually define dedicated position where you want that they are coupled here you don't have this but you have dedicated offset so let's say that this is something between mc gear in and mc in gear in pos except there is a fixed gear ratio and you define only the phase offset that's it for this video thank you for watching if you liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video bye